Welcome to day 1B of the $2,650 America's Card Room $8 million guaranteed Venom. I sold 50% of my action at virtually no markup on Stake Kings. If you bought a piece on Stake Kings, hang on, we're about to go for a ride. Not in the mood to fold today. We're here to play aggressive and uh, well, you know. There's a fine line between spewy and boss hog status. Hopefully we find the perfect mix. Uh, if we were shallower, I think a three bet's better. But this deep and uh, against a world-class player might be better to practice a little pot control and a little deception and just put in the call. Good flop. I know he's very likely to blast off and our range is pretty capped. We're not going to have many deuces in our range. So the plan is to check call. Okay, we're paying attention to his timing here. Pretty normal one third. Um, we're just hoping no, like no ace, no ace comes on any of the future streets. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's a decent card for him to barrel a lot, although we block a lot of his barrels with the Jack of Spades. Standard bet sizing. Plan remains the same, and that is to check call all three, barring an ace on the river. But how many aces are, is he really barreling here? Clean run out. I'm going to bet, or I'm going to check. He's going to bet 22 bigs, and we're going to call. And whatever happens, happens. As predicted. Uh, even though the plan is made up in my head, I just want to balance my timing. Uh, let him think that I'm thinking about some stuff like folding or jamming, you know, who knows? I call, good luck, Jax. Ace nine, he went for three, streets of value, a little greedy, and they move him. <laughs> Double whammy, or wait, I moved. Okay, uh, well, this table looks good too. Don't recognize a lot of these faces. And just like that, it's a uh, 300K starting and we got 400K. Love it when a plan comes together. Uh, unfortunately, folded to me, but uh, the good news is we have the aces. We're going to stick with our standard open sizing. 2.5 at this depth with the antis in there. There's already over 2.5 bigs in the middle. It's almost one to one ratio of uh, steel profitability. Uh, 975. There's two ways to look at this flop the snap lead. What the hell is this? I was going to talk about the merits of checking versus c betting, but now the question is, are we going to raise or call? I think we're just going to call. Oh, yeah. 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 And we're just going to call this down. Um, yeah. Top of our range here. I mean, yeah, pretty close to the top of our range. And do some bluffs. Some, he shouldn't have... Oh, well, I guess he could have a leading range, but... Um, yeah. Ace of Spades isn't that relevant, because you got to figure he's going to be, uh, say, checking the Ace of Spades on the river at some frequency. He could put us on a few draws. 8-10 suited, Jack-10, uh, two Spade combos. So against this player, although there's, you know, if he has a five or a nine, he has a boat. Uh, I don't expect them to be checking a boats that much from Mexico. That's interesting. Uh, we still have to go for value here. Uh, you could hero us with a seven or uh, ace highs, although we double block ace high. Just feels too weak to check back as played. Of course, we're going to. Okay. And we're going to continue opening with our aces. Getting close to the bottom of the range here, but you know, you gotta take chances in life. Uh, don't take three bets personally, unless they are personal. I know it can be frustrating, but you know, sometimes they just got it. Uh, once again, I think this is a mandatory open. Hopefully they don't perceive me as steaming and play back too lightly. Oh, snap fold. Nice to see that. Nice to see he's not like contemplating three betting seven three off and shit. 
and they are relentless. Always a little turbulence. It's okay. And that's how you lose four pots in a row and not tilt. <laughs> I mean, do they think I'm raising any two? I'm getting playable hands. Can I just open fold these hands? If I open fold ace 10, it's like I'm just giving up. You just got to keep attacking. It looks like I'm tilted. That's the, that's the problem here, which is going to make it more likely that they play back at me. And that's when the metagame begins. It builds character to raise fold five hands in a row. Uh, another very bluff happy individual. So if they're going to bluff, we're going to catch them bluffing as opposed to let them bluff us. That's the plan. King's good for our range. And we're going to call the turn. Pretty good river. Seven blind bet. What's he repping? A king? A five? I don't know. Our note says he can really spew it off. Let's, let's RNG this one. Nine. There we go. We're calling. Ace high. Hits his miracle turn card. Very nice. Very nice. That's what we get. Sorry for trying. Strong action on these uh, 40 and 50 blind stacks. With, maybe this is just a fold. Maybe I'm supposed to fold aces. Or, uh, <laughs> wish I had aces. Eights versus the UTG. But they just open so much. And we'll have position on them a lot of the time. Wow, what is this? Seven more blinds. Seven more blinds to win. 30, 26, 35, potential 40. Oh my god, I mean, how mad will I be if I, if I hit a set and I fold here? Just seems like a spew to set mine for seven more blinds here. Maybe not, let's gamble. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, see now this is the, this is the uh, other problem. When you don't hit a set, you might get the old like seven six five flop or some shit, and now the pot is bloated. Especially very strong action. Very very much repping. Wait, what is this? Checks back. Oh, that's the Brazilian. That's right. Uh, very strong action with these positions under the gun, under the gun one, under the gun two. Full eight-handed table. I mean, it just feels so weak to fold here. But you just, like, almost always has an overpair, if not the ace of clubs. We can have some flushes. We can have some fours and sixes. Feels like he's going to jam. He does jam. Oh, this is gross. Well, he can't snipe me. I can use my time bank. If he has an overpair with a club, we're drawing to two outs. If he has ace-x specific with the ace or king of clubs, we're ahead. If he has an overpair without a club, we have 25%. 32 blinds to win. Let's see. If this is a pot size bet, we'd need... To be right that amount of the time. Would he check back? A high flush draw. I don't think he's ever three betting pocket sevens. Ace five? Ace five is their favorite three bet hand. That would make some sense here. Using up all my time bank. What do you do with eights, guys? What do you do? No. Uh, I think we're getting too good of a price. Expect to be beat here uh, a lot of the time. We might suck out some time, and he might just have the naked high flush draw, so we're going to gamble. Good luck, Ochos. Yes! Yes! Naked Ace of Clubs. Red tag confirmed. Sometimes you just got to go for it. But as you can tell, I, I could have been real bad. I don't know. I'm going to have to run that one through GTO Trainer.
See what GTO Trainer has to say. Sign up today. Promo code Boski. Get a little 10% off. But um, I also like BBZ Poker and Raise Your Edge. A lot of great resources. You just got to put in the time and money. And you can guess right with pocket eights in a three-way like I did. Seems like a okay open. Tough to make a pair. It's a good flop. You know, I was thinking of some flops, and that's one of them. Let's bust this shorty. Start off with a very small bet. We got flush draws blocked, and we got uh, top pair blocked. So uh, we're going to go real small here. Checking is also an option, but I think one-fourth pot is also good. Got to build the pot. The pot isn't going to build itself. And he might just uh, take this opportunity to check raise because he thinks his range is going to hit this board a lot harder than mine. And there we go. Uh, I don't think we should have many three betting, uh, three, uh, three betting spot, three betting hands in this situation. So we're just going to call and hope that like a five or a three doesn't pop off. All right, good turn. Hopefully he just jams it. Maybe he picked up a combo draw. Call. <laughs> Great turn. Got him. Oh, I was muted. But you know the drill. You know what's up. Three bed pot. Good flop. Oh my god. I was thinking of one card. And that is the card. Holy shit. What a what a great sign. Uh, my gut says to size up here. Uh, we're going to go 75%. That will put 60 blinds in the middle, setting up almost a river jam. Or wait, geometric sizing. We'll go half pot. 24, yeah, 24 pot size bet. Polarizing our hand strength because we have a very polar hand here. Two flush draws on the board. Got to set up that river jam. Or allow him to check jam. And we take it down. That'll happen. Maybe I got a little greedy. Maybe 75% would have got the action. But um, I think that was fine. Stick with our 2.5. Uh, obviously a pretty good flop for jacks. A small bet is in order. Uh, it's going to be a bad board for us in general. Like, Are we opening 7x? We're gonna have some sets for sure, small pairs. Uh, when he flats, I'm putting him on a lot of ace x and uh, you know mid pairs. I don't think he's ever flatting um, the c bat with like a king queen at the back door, stuff like that. Uh, I think we're gonna block this river. Hope to get called from eights, nines, tens, random ace fives and shit. Did not want to see a raise. Did not want to see a raise. So other option was check call, but what bluffs does he have? What hands is he thin value raising this river after checking the flop? Is he really checking a set or a seven on the turn? Is he value raising a queen on this river? What queen X is he floating? Ace queen specifically. Uh, we're getting very good price on the call. Just. Historically, people have it here, but we're stubborn. We're playing to win. Ace queen. Yeah. Nice hand. Will we three bet check your privilege again? Yes, we will. Uh, they never pass at the opportunity to open, so we're not going to pass on the opportunity to put more chips in with what we assume is the best hand. Seven blinds to go. Feels like a four bet. Nope. Felt wrong. Has he had enough? Did he finally wake up with the hand? Uh, my plan was to raise call, believe it or not, for 30 bigs effective versus the cutoff, who's been very active. So let's take him out. Alan Jackson suited. Pipped. There's the jack. No! Almost a straight flush. Good hand. Nice cooler. I can almost hear Katie in the background saying, Ryan, 
I mean, what bluffs does he have here? Five, six? I've seen him bluff with five, six in this spot before, live at the win. Hopefully he's just got it. Shove, snap, call, pocket sixes versus pockets. It's not even a good bl blocker bluff. What is it? Pocket sixes. Come on, bro. What'd you, what'd you think he had? All right, let's open Jack-10 off. See what happens. We earned a pot. Earned it. Oh, aces. They're going to think I'm steaming. Oh, man, I'm the best pocket aces pre-flop player in the world. I just try to shovel chips in the middle. That's the way to do it. Okay. Okay. I think six blinds is the correct amount. Between six... 6.5, we'll go 6. Leave a little room for others to join the party. We don't want to turn down any customers now, do we? Let's get them. Cold 4-bet? Austria, you can do it. Get creative. Cold 4, 21 bigs. All right, I think he's going to have a very strong hand here. Um, jacks, queens uh, specifically. Uh, we are in position. So we shouldn't really have a five bet bluffing range here, especially if we're under the gun. So we're just gonna call and uh, hope for no queen or jack high flop. Well, there's a queen, could be a problem, but um, the plan is not to fold. We do have hearts as a backup. I expect him to bet like 15 blinds on this flop. And he's setting up a turn jam. If he's got queens, he's got queens, you know. It was going in pre regardless. Uh, very likely as kings, small chance of ace queen. So we're gonna call call. Double flush draw. He's jamming. If he has kings, he might be afraid I have queens. Here we go. Don't have queens. Big double. Yes, the stone cold cooler. Full double. Big double. We got him. Uh, we're deep. Last time I 3x'd Ace Deuce, came into a quandary as he shoved on me. We're a lot deeper now, so we're going to 3.5x this. Try to get a fold or at least uh, keep the lead. Aggression pays off. You got to earn these pots. Got a note on him. Lay it down, bro. We got it. Okay. Uh, two trains of thought on this board. Some might say, hey, you should bet your whole range, ace high board, range advantage, shit like that. Uh, another train of thought is a little pot control. Uh, we have pretty decent showdown value with our jack. I'm not sure how much we want to bloat the pot out of position. So I think a check might be better here. It was kind of the same quandary we had with the ace deuce on the eight five deuce two heart board. And we, when he eventually shoved on our 3.6 blind bet, not the best turn card for us. Brings uh, backdoor diamonds. 10-8 uh, and king-10 get there. We don't block those. Um, but we also don't block any flush draws. So I don't see much reason to bet. Once again, we're going to hit the check button. See what happens. Down for a friendly. Check it down. Okay, he's not. He wants to go for that value bet. Not feeling great about this, but I think we're a little bit too under up to fold just yet. This is one of the disadvantages of playing out of position. So, yeah, I think uh, we're just going to have to call and not like it. Uh, brick on the river could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what hand he has. But our hand looks uh, very weak at this point, having checked twice. So he might want to bluff us off this hand, but are we going to let him? Would he turn a king rag into a bluff, repping the king 10, or a naked 10 of sorts into a bluff with the straight blocker? So I don't think he's checking an ace back that often. And there are a lot of random suited connectors that would stab the turn, especially if he picked up diamonds. And he's incentivized to bluff with random king x that isn't a straight. 
and 10x, such as 10.7, 10.6, 10.5. Uh, that doesn't have his beat. And I don't think he's going to value bet a queen at a high frequency. He might just go for showdown. So he doesn't have that big of a value range. Although there are 20, there are 30, I know, 16, there are 32 combos of king 10 and 10 8, which are effective the nuts. But he'd have to check those back on the flop and get aggressive on the turn. So all in all, we're just going to put in the call and see what happens. We only have to be right like 25% of the time here. 10, 8 of diamonds. What a, what a miracle. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Uh, if we bet the flop, obviously he's not going anywhere. And he got that value. Milked me for every penny. Ace King, it's been a minute since I've seen you, and I missed you. Welcome back, Ace King. Let's do some work. Oh, don't, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do put in that button. Three bet versus a an aggressive Netherlander willing to four bet jam any ace or small pair. Let's gamble. Uh, we might even put in the warm five ball here. Little 80 blind pot. Let's roll. Let's fucking roll. I'm probably bluffing. Hold. Got him. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Boom. No chop. Big double. The negativity of comments like, was it really that hard of a fold? You mean uh, facing a pot size bet with an over and the nut gut shot? Possibly versus only one person. Um, yeah, it is a pretty hard fold. But, um, yeah, let's keep it positive around here. It's good to think about all the situations. Um, just like what is his flatting range from the small blind. Very similar. Broadway dense and small pair heavy. So we're not accomplishing much by C betting here. Uh, and we are somewhat under repped. Um, to have this hand in our range is good. We can catch some bluffs. Um, we don't expect uh, too many flush draws. Uh, like ace X of clubs is probably going to three bet at some frequency. Uh, but of course we're going to call the turn. And the interesting situation is going to occur on the river if we don't improve. Uh, well, we kind of improve in a bad way. The only silver lining here is that we can turn our hand into a bluff, believe it or not. We really don't have, it looks like we have showdown value, but we don't. We do beat ace queen. The problem is, I don't think he thinks we're gonna check. We do beat jack nine, nine, 10. Eight X is a straight, king X is a straight. And I'm just gonna chicken out and check, but I think there's a lot of merit in turning our hand into a bluff here. Okay, wouldn't have worked. Um, yeah, no big deal. And I think that's it. Boom, baby. Fucking did it. Day two. Bagged and tagged. As the magic eight ball predicted, quite the turbulent adventure. 147, move on. 928, we're in for one bullet. Shout out for steak kings. They got half my action. Ryan DePaulo snaked 5% before uh, punting it all off in a unbelievable fashion. But, you know, teach their own. And uh, until next time, stay safe, stay hard, and uh, stay out of trouble. Enjoy life. You only get one 11-hour stream. Finito.